In our next section, we will talk about bidirectional forwarding detection. In some networking environments, guys, no carrier detect signaling mechanism is available to quickly detect whether the link between the routers is down. For example, you can see on the screen and this uh, figure is illustrating three types of environments where a link failure may occur on the directly connected interface. When the link failure is not directly connected, and you can see in here there's an L2 switch network in between two switches, and there is a DWDM network in between two devices, and there are some tunnels configured between two devices also. So when the link failure is not directly connected, the router needs to rely on the routing protocol keep alive messages to determine remote and neighbor reachability. This can take an unacceptably long amount of time by today's standards. For example, as you know, OSPF by default waits 40 seconds to declare a neighbor is down guys and but this is a really long time in today's networks one option uh, for quickly identifying routing protocol neighbor reachability loss is to set the hello and uh, keep alive timers on the routing protocol to a very short interval however introducing fast hellos does not always reduce the failure detection interval to a level where the network can route around the problem before time-sensitive applications notice the communication failure. In addition, fast hello timers guys can tax the router CPU and do not scale well as the number of neighbor sessions increases. So what we're gonna do? What is the solution? The solution is BFD, guys. BFD is a detection protocol that works with all media types, routing protocols, topologies, and the encapsulations. It is used to quickly detect reachability failures between two routers in the same layer 3 network so that network issues can be identified as soon as possible and convergence can occur at a far faster rate. BFD guys is a lightweight protocol that is it has small fixed length packets which means it is less CPU intensive than fast routing protocol Hellos. So on the screen router 1 and router 2 are using BFD to keep track of reachability. So BFD packets are being sent every, you can see in here, 100 milliseconds. And if three consecutive packets are missed, BFD triggers a session failure and notifies EIGRP. The EIGRP timers are set to their defaults of 5 and 15. 